Hello everyone, it's Matt from Akuma Mods back again with our review of the Anycubic Translucent Green Resin. So um, I had a customer reach out to me and they wanted some custom made lenses for uh, basically like dolls. And uh, so they wanted frames and lenses, but they wanted green, clear lenses. If that makes any sense, or clear green, uh, see-through green, basically. Um, and so I unfortunately don't have any see-through green uh, resins on hand, so I had to go out and I purchased the uh, bottle of any cubic green translucent or translucent green um, and basically printed it exclusively on the uh, frozen Sonic Mega. So we went and we printed that. Unfortunately, I don't have any of those uh, very, very small lenses to show you guys, uh, you know, how they printed. But uh, we did end up printing some other stuff with this resin that I think some of you may or may not like. But at least we can show it off and, and you guys can see exactly what, uh, what they look like. So let's go ahead and show off some of these. So... My son has been getting into Tinkercad, and he's also on a um, Plants vs. Zombie kick. So we ended up uh, printing out a lot of files on the Frozen Sonic Mega as well. And basically, I'm just going to show you guys everything that, uh, that he designed and we printed. Um, now, just letting you know, he is very, very beginner, uh, but he's definitely above me in terms of how to design things. And uh, you'll see some of the limitations that he did, you know, deal with on Tinkercad. Uh, but for the most part, uh, you know, they're pretty cool models. And he basically just redid them off of an, uh, an image on the internet and went from there. So, uh, unfortunately, I don't know any of their names, but here's some of the models. So, here's one of the guys. Let's hopefully focus. There we go. So, as you can see, it's pretty beat up. That's because they've already been playing with them. But... I figured I'd show it off, at least how the green shows through and everything. As you can see, some of the dimpling from the uh, supports. And I got I got quite a lot of these models, so we're just going to kind of go through them and show them off. Hopefully the uh, the camera can autofocus here a little better. There we go. A little too close. There. So, as you can see, these are, these are all designed by him. So, very, very proud of him for doing this. This one's actually pretty cool. I like this one because it's got uh, some spiky features on it. So hopefully, um, hopefully we can pick up. There we go. It's picking up my face, so I got to cover my face. But there you go. There's uh, one of these cool guys, and these spikes came out pretty well. Like I said, they've already been playing with them. That's why you see some of the damage on them already. Um, and then I'll show you guys some of the failures we kind of had and then what we did to remedy this situation. So he made this, uh, this Gatling P and basically this is the issue that we're facing is, as you can see right here, some of the, uh, the Gatling part on the front of his, uh, his nose basically didn't print very well. Well, that was because we had supports everywhere but on that, that gun piece. So we went ahead and we redid uh, those files and supported them properly with the right um, thing. And as you can see, they printed pretty well. I'm sorry for the terrible focusing. There we go. I've got to make sure I have the, uh, the right area there. But as you can see, it printed off. It did meld a little bit together, which I kind of expected to because they're so close together and it's such a small uh, type thing. And again, we're working with Tinkercad, so it's nothing spectacular. So uh, this is one I showed off on a TikTok that we kind of did. And uh, we basically, you know, I took this file and I did some minor touches to it. But for the most part, he, uh, he printed off this little guy. Got some little piece on there. And then he kind of took the, that design and then made this type of guy. So as you can see, the eyes are very similar and he did a little mouth on it. So that's kind of cool. Now this one is really cool because if you guys know about Tinkercad or anything about Tinkercad, um, there is this cool little feature called Scribble. And basically you can make anything you want from the Scribble. 
Well, he made some eyes out of the scribble. So as you can see, they look like, like nines almost. And they are purposely uh, set up like that in this, this little part too. So that's not like an anomaly or anything like that. This is actually how this guy, how he wanted him to look. So he ended up printing them just like that. So, um, and then here's one of the taller guys. He's basically like a giant stalk. Pretty cool looking guy. So we didn't go anything fancy on this right now. Um, and then one of his smallest pieces, I don't know if this will even pick it up. Oh, it does. I'm amazed. This guy was kind of hard to print, so we had to put a lot of supports on him to make sure he printed. So we still have to do a little bit of cleanup on him, but uh, he's not too bad. And he printed out just the way that he wanted, you know, that little little tiny barrel. I know it's hard to see on that. There we go. And go from there. So that's pretty much every little guy that, that he designed, and we printed out for that. Um, there is about 100 millimeter, milliliters millimeters oh there's about a hundred milliliters left in that vat um of printing that so i'm gonna take that out and probably transfer it and put it on one of my smaller printers so we can print a you know a couple small things just to to get rid of the resin and you know maybe maybe we'll just end up mixing it uh with some stuff who knows but uh, another thing that i wanted to show off which um was something i've been wanting to print for a while and since I had the translucent green, I figured, hey, let's go ahead and uh, print this off because it's perfect for it. Now, I'm just giving you a fair bit of warning. I did do some sanding on this model because we had some major pitting from the, uh, the uh, supports because we were using stock support settings. And uh, I did put a clear coat on it. So just a fair bit of warning. My first time sanding a model and first time clear coating it. So... It probably looks terrible to most, so I'm just giving you that fair bit of warning. So, here's the model. And this is a rupee from Zelda. So, as you can see, it's not the greatest looking thing. And as you can see inside there, there are some dried resin pieces. I'm not sure if those are pieces I just missed from the support. And they just kind of broke off and got in there, but uh, thankfully we didn't have any major damage of it. But, uh, you know, yeah, basically this entire side had all supports on it. So it was, uh, it was pretty, pretty bad pitted wise. So we sanded down as best as we could. Um, you can kind of even see a little bit of the support structures on it, like, like all these little dots that are on there. They kind of look like the print itself, but uh, not too bad. So, and I only did like five minutes of sanding and I don't even remember what grid I was using, but again, I, I don't know what I'm doing in that. So, uh, but I figured I'd, I'd show that off and let you guys know, you know, I'm not the greatest. The first time doing it, I usually let the end user deal with, um, with printing this stuff, but uh, came out not too bad uh, right off the build plate. So I was pretty happy with, uh, with the results. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll make some more of these and, and finish out and maybe do some different color rupees. Uh, I'll definitely be doing a clear one for sure and do like a, a crystal and uh, something like that because we do have some clear resins we got to test out, um, some super clear resins actually, and uh, basically go from there. So uh, I will leave links to all the um, files that I used. So if you guys want to download my son's files, we are putting those up on Thingiverse, so you know if you guys want to download those and test them out, that'd be great. If you want to, you know, go ahead and make a TikTok or something about it and throw it out there and tag me in it, uh, he would have a blast with that. I, I would absolutely love that. Not forcing you guys to, but uh, like I said, I'll, I'll leave links down below if you want to, uh, you know, print those off if you want to in any color, and uh, basically go from there. Um, I will leave a link for the bottle of resin that I bought off Amazon. It will be an affiliate link. And uh, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. So uh, if you got any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and leave them down below. And I will try my best to uh, get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, and that's pretty much it, guys. Until next time, happy printing.